Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and... This is Pahamar. How you doing, Pahamar? Good, how are you? Good, I'm sitting down to record episode 22 of the Material Energy Hypercube series. What are you doing? Um, I'm recording episode 21. This is awkward. Really? We already recorded episode 21, though. You sure you, sure you didn't do that with Soren? Um... I don't see chests all over the place full of random junk, so I'm going to go on a limb and say no. Fair enough. I cannot argue with that logic. No, it's perfect. It's irrefutable. What you doing? Well, you well, decided to cover up the little enchanting station we set up over there with your wind yeah. farm. Yes. So I'm just moving it. Okay, that's smart. Um, I learned some mine chem. Cool. So now you're a chemist? Kind of. I also completed 12 quests. Whoa. Yeah, it was all boring crafting stuff. Let's see. Um, I crafted some stuff in Mine Chem. I made Manulin, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, it's Mine Chem related, though. And then I did... Oh, I crafted a neat item. How neat? Come here. I'm kind of indisposed at the moment. No, you won't be when you see what this is. No, I mean, like, I'm I'm not very accessible to you right now. I can see that. I'm watching you. I would jump down this hole to see what you're doing, but I'm pretty sure you'd mine out a hole right under me where I was falling, and then I would die. Never. It wouldn't be the first time. Look, accidentally kill you once, get haunted by it for the rest of our days. Yeah, well, you know. Here, I've got something for you. Where are you? What do you got? What do you got? Right what do you got? You know what that is? Staff of Traveling. Yes. Oh, cool. Just look around. Neat. Yes. Zip. Zip. Cool. cool. Yeah, good stuff. It uses uh, energy, though, so you have to recharge it. That's fine. We have oodles of it. When was the last yeah, time it was one of our the quest objectives. Uh, the downside to that thing is it required a villager to craft. Which is why I wanted to breed villagers. I don't know how many other things are going to need villagers, like quest related. So we still have three villagers left. I didn't figure out how to how to breed them. I, according to what I read online, they need to be able to um, consider something an inside and an outside. And in order for something to be considered the outside, it has to be visible to the sky. So there uh... is no outside where we're at. Um, so we could try like going up outside the sphere like just making our way all the way up and seeing what's on like, on the outside of this building but um for now i'm going to say let's hold off unless we decide we really need villagers deal deal okay i'm going to our mine chem area because what i crafted off camera was boring mine chem stuff um but what i want to do on camera is going to be more exciting chem stuff. I'm playing with the fusion reactor chamber thing, and I hooked Ooh. it up to a whole bunch of power because it needs a lot of power. And I'm remember those dimensional this. transceivers I got last episode? Yeah, I'm using them now. Oh, I figured you would have used the tesseracts we have. Yeah, they're pretty much the same thing, relatively. Did you want to come see how I use the fusion wall? But I'm building. Boring. Yeah, Fusion's boring. more fun than building. So you can see, like, a lot of the quests that I completed were in the mine chem chemistry section of the book. And um, all... Oh, retinol, I didn't get around to making that. Cool. Um, also, there's a couple of bug quests. Like, this is called oxycodone, but it's asking for cellulose, and I have cellulose, and it's not completing. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. Why won't you drink? I had you working. Haha. Uh -huh. Pahi noob. Do you need oh. help? Yes. Alright, what's up? Did you tell it to drink from the bottom? It's drinking from the side. Alright, where's the... Oh, okay. It's drinking from... Which side? It's, there's no um, fluid in that fluid duct. Shouldn't there be? 
I uh, there should extract. be. Oh, I think I know oh, what it okay. is. Did you forget to tell it when not redstone signaled? Yep, I think that was it. Okay. Whee! Bye, he death. So did you want to see the fusion, or did you want to just do this? Well, I'll finish this, and then I'll come see your fusion. Okay. It's, in fairness, not that exciting. There, there go. you go. Cool. So do you have to dance to complete fusion? I'm going to say probably not. What about fancy earrings? Um, yes. We need fancy earrings? Yeah. Knew it. Do it. So when we fuse, are we going to be Pocky Wolf or Diremar? I'm not going there. Oh, come on. Nope, not happening. Would you like to meet me in the chem lab? I'll be there in a second, my sir. Okay. And then come up the elevator one level. Yay, this max level. level. Where's my MR? I'm working on it. Where's this? Where's this? Goodness. There we go. There you are. Ooh. All right, so here's what I learned about mine, Cam. You ready? Okay. So there's a bunch of like all kinds of complex materials that we've been getting. But if you look in any eye, there's also like every element on the periodic table has like an item, right? So it's usually like around page five of any eye if you look up chem. And you'll see like there's hydrogen and it says one and helium two and lithium three. So that's like basic periodic table, right? Yeah. So fusion, if you look at the interface, there's two slots that you can put into the left and the right. And basically what you do is you put two chemicals in there and it'll combine them and it'll just add up the number, right? So if you put two helium in there, you'll get hydrogen, I assume. And if you put like helium and uh, hydrogen, you'll get lithium because one plus two equals three, that kind of deal. Seem pretty straightforward? Yes. Okay, so our quest is to create pixelenium. That stuff. Uh, can you say that again? Pixelenium. Pixelenium. Yeah. Well, it's uh, element 115. So I've where got... Where is this? Lost in... Oh, chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. It's the fusion quest. So pixelenium is element number 115. So I brought with me some lead, which is 82. Um some vanadium which is 23 so that combines to 105 and some neon which is 10 and that's 115 so i think and i haven't tested this but i think if i put lead and vanadium in here it combines to dubnium which is radioactive and it has a half-life of an hour and 12 minutes it looks like so if you look in the mind chem interface you'll see mm -hmm. that and then if i combine that with neon i got pixelenium hey that was easy and it's stable, so we don't have to worry about half-lives. And I think that completed our quest. There's also a quest like for it. a fission reactor where we have to make helium, but I'm not going to do that because I don't think we have a fission reactor handy. So I'm going to just try putting hydrogen and hydrogen together. And I got helium. You mean the one that's you above us? So, uh -huh. um, I don't know if that's... That just... Oh, don't right-click on that, by the way. Oh. I told you not to right-click on it. Why? I told you not to right-click on it. Ah, coming back. Okay. I opened it up and it worked fine. Did you notice your inventory was randomized? Chemical fission chamber. Okay, is that what it is? Yes. Okay, well, I crashed when I right-clicked on it, and all I see is tungsten plating. Well, click on it. No, I don't want to crash. You're not going to crash. I already completed the quest. It's done. Like, mission complete, dude. Found a trophy. Good job. I learned chemistry. I found Bob a pig. Bob found a boat trophy. There you go. What's that? It's a pig. We got five yeah. pig oh, iron ingots, yeah. 50 cooked pork chops, and a reward bag. Sweet. I'm going to put all these chemicals away that I have. And then in a minute, I'm going to talk about the automation I did with Steve's factory manager off camera. And 
I'm going to feed my chickens, and hopefully one of these days get myself a chicken that can lay eggs, because none of these chickens thus far have been capable of doing such a thing. That's clearly far too challenging for a Minecraft chicken to lay eggs. Woot, did I tell you that we have a max level enchanter? Uh, I believe I assumed that much. Well, aren't you just fancy? You could put it that way. So I'm working on a few things AE related right now, Palmer. Uh, one thing I did is automated the creation of pure Certus Quartz. Do you want to see it? It's very cool. How come you, you want to show me stuff every time I'm about to drop? Well, because I'm proud of things I make. And why is the wire pink? Because we had that in the AE system. It's Maddie's pink wire. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was there, and I didn't feel like making more because it's expensive. So check this out. Um, you know we can just harvest here. it from this idea place? You could. But then again, we already had it in the AE system. So, hey, guess what I didn't do? Nah. So if you grind um, Certus Crystals into dust and combine that dust with sand, you'll get two Certus Quartz seeds, which require um, being placed in water, and they'll turn into pure Certus Quartz, which can almost be used for everything. So I created this nifty contraption that I place the seeds into this chest, and they'll automatically be placed into the water for me. And then it'll activate the crystal growth accelerator to the redstone signal. And then when they're fully grown, it'll turn that off and put them back in the chest. Nice. Nice. So I'm pretty excited about that. So there's no interaction that I need to do. I just place it in the chest and boom, it'll pop out when it's done. And it'll do the same for Fluix crystals, pure Fluix seeds, and a few other things. This is similar to a build I did in my single player series, so I didn't really want to replicate it on camera, but um, it's it's pretty much similar. It's Steve's Factory Manager related. You really love your Steve's Factory Manager. Dude, play with it once and you're addicted, I'm telling you. And the next things I want to get is probably some inscribers going on here. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I want this to go. I'm thinking Ender IO ish is probably the route I want to take. You know what? I could do it over here. That would probably be good. So this is going to be another one of those automation episodes, I suspect, Bahamar. That seems okay. I thought so. Cool. Okay. My thing works. The auto end yep. bill, the enchanter, and the XP shower are all set up. Sweet.
I'm just derping a little bit. Don't mind me. I would never mind you derping. I would really hope not, because it happens a lot. It really does, actually. All right, I'm going to get myself some better gear. We'll probably want those actually all to be insert and extracts, but that's cool. They should all go into the appropriate slots. Nice. That worked beautifully. I got an egg. Just one? Just one. From what? The chicken trophy. Ooh. All right, I am going to go see about killing some wolves. Okay. Because I need more experience for the enchanter. Ouch. Ah, oh, that has to go on the top. Okay. Gotta love some lifesteal. It's good, isn't it? Completely counteracts the witch's poison. Yeah.
I wonder if I've drawn enough of their attention that you could probably like sneak in here. Maybe. Except you're automating, aren't you? I am. This probably sounds really boring, uh, boring on the recording because I'm not doing game sounds, but like I don't think people want to hear just thousands of wolves. No, I, I can agree with that. I'm glad I put in those escape windows. I fall. I like throwing in a uh, work on things slash automation episode every now and then because it's what I'm good at. <laughs> You're good Usually at I'm good at things when I have flight though. Okay, well, that's almost 30 levels. And I got lifesteal on my Pahamar pan. Well, that's awesome. Man, I can, hear, I can hear the wolves on yours. I know, that's how loud they are. And all I'm trying to do is just get a full set of adamantite gear with, like, really nice enchants. Yeah. So far I've got Unbreaking 3, Fire Protection 4 on my chest, Fire Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Thorns 2 on my helmet, Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Thorns 2, and XP Boost 3 on my leggings. Nice. Yeah, it's looking like a pretty good set, so I just need another 30 levels odd to, uh... You know, I have an idea, actually. Hmm. This should actually work pretty well. I don't think it'll get stuck at any point. Oh, hey, my piercer and everything worked exactly the way I wanted it to. Hooray! Yeah, I constantly hear wolves now. We're a little bit low on gold Pahamar, but not that bad. We're actually not nearly as bad as I thought. So everything's behaving now? So if I put like you, you, and you all in there at once, boom, these guys should all go. And then whichever one gets there first wins. That's cool.
What if I told you I found a way to possibly deal with those wolves? I would listen intently. So you know what we have tons of access to in that room? I do not. Underneath it? Yes. You're going to have to pillar up, though. I tried that before. Nope, I didn't have to pillar at all. Oh? Because there's all these dark cables and whatnot underneath the central portion there. So it gives you something like to nice. land on. That's cool. All right, I automated the creation of the logic circuits uh -oh. from Applied Energistics. Oh, by Mar. Well, I didn't expect them to land on me. That's exactly what you should have expected. That's the other problem with pillar with going from underneath is they can fall. <laughs> they are affected by gravity, sir. One of these days I'll open the reward bags from all the quests that I did earlier, but I'm just excited that I automated stuff. It's what I enjoy doing so much. By the way, save your greater epic and legendary bags because we have quests for them. I have. Though I'm, I'm not exactly sure I want to waste our bags on those seed things because legendary bags are quite legendary. Could you help me? This isn't like Agrarian Skies, where they were like, ha, legendary, just kidding. I could actually use your help for a moment. Oh boy, here it comes. Dire Wolf, I died. Alright, hang on, let me put some of my junk away in the AE system, and I will come and hopefully save you. All right, I'm coming. Where are we going? Okay, I need you to go to the hallway leading up to that room. Okay. The room with all the terribleness? Yep, you should see a hole, and underneath it is a zombie in chainmail. What? Do I jump down this hole here? W where are you? I'm outside the door, and there's a hole in the floor with cobblestone underneath it. No. Um, go more towards the... Do you see a, a zombie in it at I all? I see you. Okay. Okay. Look straight down. Okay. The zombie is dead. Thank you. Yep. Uh, where did you die? All the way at the bottom. Ah! Uh, dang it. Where are you? Climbing back up the pillar. Zombies were still on the platform. Yeah. I need you to jump down onto that platform. Okay. Okay. Now... I'm lowering my game sounds now. Yes. Now we need to patch the hole that the wolves jump down through. Actually, I can do that now. Did okay. you want to go to the bottom and kill the wolves down there so I can get my gear? Oh, did you die down there? Yep. Okay, so that was cool. <laughs> did you just die down there? I did not die yet. But I'm watching all the wolves fall down there, which is hilarious to me. I wonder if we can get it to the point where they all fall to the bottom, and then, like, that room is empty. Spawners. Well, my theory is that there's a limit to how many can be spawned, right? It's done by, I think, immediate, like, closeness. Vicinity? Yep. Yep. I see. Yeah, um, I'm going to run away in fear. Are you unable to handle all the wolves down there? Uh, the number of wolves down there is exceptional. I can give it a shot, but I think that they're continuing to fall. Is there a ladder that gets me down there? Because last time I fell, I died. Uh, you can go down the ladder now. Okay. Is there a ladder that goes all the way? Correct. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that wool is pomegranate, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's gonna be uh we might have to like admin complete that. Possibly. So your corpse is at the bottom here? Yep. With all your stuff in it? Yep. All right, give me a minute. I am taking them out. They are continuing to fall, Pahinoob. I yep. want you to be aware yep. of that. Are you dealing with the hole that you made in the floor? Or... I'm trying to, but I have no gear to handle these guys with. <laughs> this is what Pahamar did, guys. I just want you all to know this. Yes, because you've never made a mistake at all, ever. Nope, you've been never. perfect nope, this perfect. entire series. Yep. We'll roll These the tape are on that irrefutable one. facts. Why don't you try and get your stuff back after I take care of the wolves that are down here? Because uh, I feel like they're falling because you're over there trying to patch the, the That's thing. That's probably fair. Yeah. Are you having fun down there yet? I'm having a blast. That's a lot of experience. I want to look again at the angel wings recipe because I want to see, I think. This is interesting. For some reason, they're like aggroed on something and they're continuing to go after it. So if you come down here, it might be relatively safe for you. There's a pile of them at that sky chest right there. Right there. I know, and I'm standing next to them and they're ignoring me. I don't know if I can trust that. You don't, I mean. Because they could be aggroed to me. With nothing. Come down there with nothing. I have things. So put it away, and then come down here. Because I have the easiest access to go put stuff away. Just kill okay, them. Okay, you do whatever you want. You have lifesteal and knockback and stuff. You're good. It's all cool. I got it. I got you covered, buddy. By the way, when you're done here, could you go take all that experience, dump it in the tank so that I can use it to enchant my gear? I would love to. You know we have, like, unlimited experience, right? All we have to do is set up an automation. Yeah, I know that. Like, really ridiculous amounts of experience are available to us right now. All right, let me know when you've got your stuff, and I'm going to get out of here. Do you need me to carry anything, or are you good? No, it should be good. I just got to get it all set all right, away. Your other grave is over here. Yeah, there shouldn't be much in that. There's another gravestone in midair there that there's a skeleton on. Yeah, they keep spawning. That's, I think, from the wither thing. Oh, uh, okay. So, I'm going to go up. Are you cool? Yep, we're cool. All right, Thank do you, you want to come back in a minute here? I want to wrap up this segment and come back. Sounds good. Okay. Pahamar, I got cool things. You got cool things? I did. I have bushes that give me experience. I want you to look up the quest or the recipe for the matter cannon. Uh, that looks expensive. Uh, yeah, it's a little expensive. It was a. Uh... It was, it, was a, it was a nuisance to craft, I will put it that way. However, it's very useful. How useful is it? Well, let me uh, show you here in a minute. Let me just find a spare power line that I can tap onto. I thought that's how you load this thing.
All right, you ready? Sure. Come over to the main AE system. I'm here. Check out what I got. You got a matter cannon. That didn't really hurt. Didn't really hurt. Yeah. You want to know what else the matter cannon can do? What's that? Oh, I can break blocks. Yes, at range. Ooh. So <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't know if it can block up if it can break obsidian. I'm going to warn you about that. As a matter of fact, let's test it. It may not be able to break obsidian. Yeah, it can't break obsidian, unfortunately. So it can't doesn't win it help. All. In, what's that? I know it doesn't help in the room that we're in currently dealing with, but I'm sure it can help in like future expeditions because it can it can break more than glass. I know that. Like I just broke cobblestone with it. I don't know what the hardness level of what it can break is, but obsidian is apparently not in the cards. But uh, it was expensive to make, and it was a quest, so, you know, cool. Cool. Okay. Um, having fun? Yeah. Yeah, I got some pretty good gear now. Cool. Okay. Nice. You enjoying it? It, uh, it's going to be nice. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I turned off our cobble gem, by the way. Too many cobbles? I'm using it to make matterkin. Well, you need to um, basically destroy items in what's called a matter condenser. So cobble's kind of like the best way to go to get these matter ball things. So I converted it to make the, the ammo for the matter cannon thing. That seems fair. Yeah, I thought so. So I think we had a productive episode, don't you? I would say we've had a pretty good episode. I'm uh, I'm rather pleased. Yeah, I'm definitely shooting up the wall. <laughs> I was wondering if there's like a high speed setting for this thing to make it uh, break obsidian, but apparently not. Um, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, I think uh, unfortunately it's wrapping up point though, Palmar. I'm sorry. This episode is a little long in the tooth. It's it's time to go. But uh, did you want to do quest tandems before we wrap up? Can we? We have a lot to do. Oh, wow, do we ever. Can I talk about how much fun making Manulin was? You, you said you did it with Minecam, right? Yeah, so um, let's see. And save your reward bags for me. I have been doing that. We probably have enough now to do the greater seeds and the epic seeds. Yeah. Possibly. I think there are five each, and Legendary, I think, is ten. Um, we definitely have enough definitely for Epic. Have enough. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I had to make Ardite with Fusion. It wasn't too bad once I figured out how Fusion worked. And then Cobalt, you can actually get, we got earlier, and we can get a lot of that from Cactus. It's Cactus Green that you can make Cobalt out of. Let's see, Bake to Win has, we've killed enough skeletons for another 20 quadruple compressed. When you uh, get those cookies, by the way, you know where to put them, right? In my mouth. Yes, exactly. Eat the cookies. Uh, we've got Lost in Time. I completed just now the Folding Space Quest and the Matter Cannon Space. Oh, we got an Enticing Crystal out of that. Well, that's nice. We also got some Travel Anchors and an Ender I.O. That Enticing Crystal, by the way, I can use to make another Travel Anchor if I wanted to, which I probably will do. Well, I'm not gonna. You don't really need it. It would be nice to have, but eh. And then uh, it was all... Uh, oh, we got a secrets. I forgot to hand in... You said you found the piggy trophy. Nice. Mm -hmm. Big iron. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Then chemistry stuff. I did lots of chemistry stuff, and I have more to do still. I got all kinds of chemicals and such that I don't really know what they do. But I've heard some of these things are like potions, and you can actually, like, drink them. 
like caffeine, I assume is like a speed potion and epinephrine. I think there's also like aspirin, which is kind of like, uh, oh, I've got my last two hearts. Nice. So yeah, there's things that do stuff. Cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Caffeine gives you speed too, haste and jump boost too. Nice. All right, I think I've handed in all my quests that were available. How do you Boop. do reward bag-wise? Nice. So I've got seven good bags, which I'm just going to put in the A system for now. But I'm going to... Uh... Epinephrine gives you health boost three and resistance. Nice. That's good. Health boost three sounds ideal. So greater reward bags times five should give us the greater reward bag seed. And I have enough to do that myself, Amar. So uh, I'm going to put these in here, and I'm going to assume that this isn't going to work. I don't think it's supposed to be chance-based. I think it's a bug that's giving me the wrong crystal. Yeah, I got compressed dirt from that. I'm purposely cheating on camera so people know that I'm cheating because of real reasons. As opposed to illegitimate reasons? Correct. So that's another bag. Reward bags. Hooray. I got five greater reward bags from doing that. Woot. Salt, bedrockium drum. I got salt. Which is stored as a liquid, by the way. I don't understand why. Yeah, we've gotten that one before, actually. I got another kind of drum. I got a drum that was full of magnesium carbonate. And I don't know what that's for. Well, that's a lot of salt. Do you realize it's a bedrockium drum? Yep. Like I said, we got that one before. Yeah, but like, do you realize it's a bedrockium drum? Yep, we got a bedrockium bed drum before. I noticed there's two of them in there, but that's a lot of salt. And I have no idea why we need that much salt. And I could look it up real quick and see. Salt is a mine chem liquid, which can be used to get chlorine and sodium, because it's NaCl. That makes sense. And that's about it. You this can get lots chemistry of chlorine. Entire wolf. I know. Lots of chlorine and sodium. I mean, you could probably convert that to almost anything with fusion and everything fusion by the way is very power hungry it uses a lot of energy all right we are way past the wrapping up point for this episode so what do you say Pahamar? you want to call it i think so my essence berry bush farm is coming along nicely so i think we're good to wrap it up nice all right guys so daryl 20 Pahamar signing off hope you enjoyed the episode take it easy goodbye